Hi, welcome to Normski TV. Um, sorry, uh, I, I didn't manage to post a, a transfer of data yesterday. I've uh, been really busy, but nevertheless, I'm going to try and get one in this morning. Just on my way to church. Um, but give the Lord thanks as we do. But um, yeah, let me um, talk about um, this new signing that's coming in from Brazil, um, from Flamenco, Pablo, Pablo Maria, 26 years old. Um, left footed, left sided um, defender, big, you know, defender at, at six foot three, six foot four. Um, done really well for Lamen Flamenco. He's really, he's, he's won the equivalent of the Champions League for them. Um, he's played for them over 40 times. So it, it's, it's, it's really good in, in terms of us getting in numbers um, for um, uh, our, our back four because at the moment we are so short. Um, he's coming at a, a price of about four million. Um, is about four million, I believe. It. I think it's about four million that he's coming at, and um, he he's what we would say. They some of the the, the flamenco guys have said he's <laughs> he's the Brazilian Amertzaka, but from the video footage that I've seen of him, yeah, he is a little bit slow, but um, he, he he seems like he, he's a, a ball playing defender, loves a long pass, um, which is good. And the main thing is he's a left side and, and Mikel Arteta, although he's been at Man City for three years and didn't play a game for them, went off on loan of various other clubs and then ended up at Flamenco. He has really done really well out there. So we're looking at getting him for four million um, on a loan deal with the option to buy him in the summer at a cut price of about seven million, which I don't think is bad. I know we're scrimping and saving, but this is what it is. This is Arsenal. Maybe Arteta can get the best out of him and hopefully he can be maybe another um, Martinelli um, in terms of um, uh, under um, Arteta's leadership and stewardship. So um, we're hoping to hear something in the next 48 hours or so. Hopefully Monday, Tuesday, we'll um, hear that he's signed for Arsenal and then we would have uh, actually sort sorted that side of it. As you say, David Luiz is, is um, suspended for three games. Rob Holding is just coming back from long-term injury. Uh, Chambers is out, obviously injured for the, uh, for the season. Socrates, and as I said, um, he's neither here nor there he's sick at the moment <coughs> hoping to have him back for the Bournemouth game tomorrow but look we've got our body in I'm hoping that we will make more signings um, I think there was talk about us still being linked with the Ukrainian player Mevyenko. Um there's again there's an option for us to get him on loan and possibly buy him for 30 mil in the summer it seems as if um, Arsenal or Arteta is looking at you know really getting a complete new back four in Obviously, we're bringing in um, Saliba, William Saliba back from St Etienne. We'll have a complete new back four, as like Louise and and um, Louise and uh, Socrates. Their their their, their um, contract expires. I think they've got a year left on their contract, so they oh, and they will probably be looking to. Well, they may want to stay, but maybe Arsenal are going to move them on. But um, at the moment, that's what it is at the moment. Um, talking about um, other people possibly coming in um, Lamar there's still talks about us possibly getting Lamar um, for a cut price uh, uh, for around about 30 mil if we've got the money why not get him you know he can sort of play on that left side um, keeping that getting that balance and then you have a Bamiyan play down a minute I know it means that someone like Martinelli might miss out but um, maybe we, you know we, we, we've got that we've got two centre forwards in Bamiyan and Martinelli playing down, down the middle and maybe put put Lacazette in the number 10 role because he seems to be really doing well holding up the ball and then laying it off and just get Ozil out of the team that's what I think um, but as I said I'm just keeping this short and lastly um, talking about Aubameyang now we've heard that he's been linked with um, PSG with um, Edison Cavani possibly going to Chelsea it means now that we have to um, secure Aubameyang he's got 18 months left on his contract um, and to be honest um, the Arsenal really need to work hard at this and, and secure that secure his deal. He's our top scorer, talisman, world class player. You know, 14 goals this season in the Premier League. Um, I can't remember if it was in all competition, maybe around 17, 18 goals. So he's our main man. We cannot afford to let him go. But PSG now uh, looks like they've come in into the running. We know that Barcelona are interested in him because um, uh, Luis Suarez um, is out for about, I think it's about four months. But look, it is what it is. Um, I would say we need to secure Aubameyang and, and just really get 
get his deal once and for all leveled out. Um, other than that, um, there's not much more I can talk about. I'm hoping to have a little chat with uh, my mate um, about the Chelsea game. So look out for that. I'm just going to just, just, just talk about it. He was at the game and just kind of get his feelings about how he felt after that goal from Bellerin going in. But other than that, listen, guys, please like, subscribe, subscribe and share. And please comment below. And again, thanks for your support. Cheers, I'm out of here.